Okay, so hopefully you'll have your ballet shoes on now, and I'm gonna go over what we learned on Wednesday for our Olaf dance. And you guys do get to dance with Olaf. He's gonna actually be on stage with you, which is so cool. So um, make sure you have your ballet shoes on. I'm gonna go over two important steps before we start, just for a reminder. So the first one is first position. That's the position where your heels are touching and your feet are making a little V. You don't want your feet to be in a straight line and overly turned out, because then you could fall over. You can even test it right now and, and see that that doesn't work. So you just want your heels together, your toes are open, okay? So when I tell you in the choreography first position, that's always what it is. It's never anything else. The other thing that we worked on that, um, I'll go over again, is the pas de chat. Pas de chat was where you bend and then your feet go do 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 and you go right, left. So you go bend, right, left. You have to bend before you do it, otherwise watch. You can't really do it, it's really hard and it hurts. So you have to plie and then you're, you push off of your left leg so that your right goes up, right, left. It's almost easier when you don't even think about it too hard. So that's a pas de chat, right, left, okay? So those are the two big ballet moves in the song. At the very beginning, Olaf is talking and you guys are just bouncing with your hands on your knees like this. Do, 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 okay? And he says, bees will buzz. On that one, you go to the right and your hand goes up, you look up at your hand. And then he says something about dandelion fuzz, you do it with your left. Okay, so it goes, look up at your right, look up at your left. And you can really step to the side and step to the side. I'm trying to stay in the camera, okay? So you're bouncing, and then bees will buzz, dandelion fuzz, and then you go first position, and I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. Da 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 pa da sha. Okay, bum, 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 bum. that's the next part. Then there's two plies, plie, plie, okay? Then you listen with your right ear, like you're listening, and then you reach your hand up and you make a big diagonal with your line like that. Because dance is all about your lines and the picture that you can make with your body. Just like we talk about the V, and now you're making a big diagonal with your arms. My left foot is actually pointed and all my weight is on this front, front leg. But if you can't do that right now, it's okay, just practice it. So how about we just play the music and I bet if you follow along a few times, you guys will have it. And then just push play on the video every day until class and then I'll teach you more on Wednesday, okay? So let's try it. So you're bouncing. When you hear the music, you can start bouncing. Make sure you don't have much experience with feet. There it is. So we go to the right first. To the left. Both arms. Pot of shop. Plie. Plie. Make the diagonal. Okay. Let's do it uh, two more times and then you'll be done with your practice for today. You'll kind of hear like little jingle bells in the distance. That's when you start bouncing. There it is. Okay, so we go up with our right arm first. First position. Potashaw's next. Plie. 
slow graceful we did slow and graceful slow and graceful slow and graceful and then it goes sharp boom boom okay then you listen and then I can stretch my arms out in the diagonal very slowly try it with me it's like your arms are going through water Ooh. and you make it as beautiful as possible so you have this sharp sharp Da, 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 da. beautiful through the water. And that's what will make the dance so interesting is having the differences and the dynamics of going slow and then fast. Okay, last time. So hands on your hips, or on your knees, I'm sorry. tan in summer that's why you're all stretched out it's like oh you're feeling the sun on your body and it feels so good and you're out in the by the ocean and the waves so that's what you should be thinking about then if you've ever been on vacation by the beach it's very warm and sunny and it feels wonderful and that's what he's talking about so it's like oh good job okay i will see you guys on wednesday cannot wait to see you all